During my whole career here at NASA, I've been very excited for an opportunity like this to demonstrate the EDS technology in the lunar environment. Dust is one of the greatest challenges that was faced in the previous era, and by incorporating this technology into future missions, we're hoping that we're able to help solve that great challenge. The Electrodynamic Dust Shield, or what we call the EDS, is a technology that we incorporate into different materials in order to actively remove dust from surfaces. It works by applying an electric field across the technology and then it repels dust from the surfaces. The purpose of sending the EDS payload to the moon is to demonstrate that this technology is capable of removing dust in the lunar environment. There are a lot of challenges that we have to overcome in order to prove that, so this will be a great opportunity for us to prove that this technology is capable of being integrated into future missions. Those challenges include solar radiation, the complications of lunar dust, and temperature extremes. When we land on the lunar surface, we hope that we get dust on our EDSs so that way we can demonstrate that they're able to clear the dust off. However, there is a chance that we do not get dust on those EDSs, so we have incorporated what we call a reduster. It works by basically the same principles as the EDS. We activate it and it pushes dust onto the EDSs that we're looking at and then we turn on those EDSs to clear them off to show that the technology works. In the Apollo days, lunar dust was one of the greatest challenges that astronauts faced. The lunar dust would stick onto astronaut suits, they would carry it into the capsule and end up breathing in that dust causing all kinds of health issues. Lunar dust would get into instruments and cause delays to scientific results and also shorten EVAs. By integrating this technology and other technologies like it onto future Artemis missions, we're hoping to mitigate all the different issues that dust posed during the Apollo era. This dust can pose a great challenge to a lot of our different missions to the Moon and other bodies such as Mars. By using the EDS on lots of different missions, we hope to actually improve the success of these missions by removing dust from systems such as solar panels, thermal radiators, cameras, and windows. So when we see the EDS technology work for the first time on the moon, we're definitely going to be doing lots of cheering and yelling and probably upset a lot of the other operators in the rooms around us. It's going to, it's going to be an experience like nothing else and I can't wait to be there.